Hello everyone and welcome to Day in Life, the Avril and Lost Channel. Today is still July 20th, Baby Log 3, and last Baby Log was great. It, it, it worked out great. I'm, I'm on time on that. Uh, I just use a just a tad over, but it's fine. I mean, I'll probably be at 15.05, no more than 15.10. But uh, like I said, I'm probably going to be doing the editing, uh, not last vlog, vlog, vlog before. Probably video, no, video log 1. Video log 2 went great. <coughs> so, here I am, uh, still talking about, oh, it's, I was talking about bikes. And you know, I, you know, I was babbling about bikes and I needed to cut a piece off of there. Um, let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. So the one bike I got from the city needs to be adjusted there. Didn't want to think it needs to be some minor adjustment too. One has recently got um doesn't really need anything to it, really. And then there's the half bike. And th like I said in the last video, I'm thinking about with the half bike, I'm thinking about you know getting the rim, the tube, and the tire, and put it on there and see if we can fix that chain. I think that chain is like too mangled, too mangled to even do anything with it. I've never, I've only actually did that once, where I had to cut off the chain and figure out how to put a new chain on there. You know. A brand new chain on there, and you have to put that little link piece on there. And there's a time to just come apart and come apart and come apart and figure out another way to actually you know, have it stay on there. I think my dad did a uh, like a little small weld to that thing. I had to figure out how to go through the, the system itself, but it wasn't really that bad. I mean, it was only going from one sprocket to another because at that time it's only want the one big sprocket and then there's like I think two or three at the back this is was a BMX style I remember having a little shifter for different stuff I'm not exactly sure what shifter really did a little small shifter and some of them I just you know just cut the piece off or remove the piece and not really worry about what the shifter did but I think it there was like a small cord to help the um, the turn of the wheel in the back. I don't know. I really don't know. It's, that was such a long, long time ago. So I'm not exactly sure about that. But I don't. I hope I don't have to cut this chain out and start over from like a new chain because I really go through the sprocket and go through there and then it's got to go like through and around and that other thing and then come back around and back to this chain here and it's got to go around the bike and stuff like that. And it's, a, it's not really that easy, you know. So, yeah. I don't know. I really don't know. I really don't know. I don't know. I'm just daydreaming right here now. Um, a little bit of a breeze just picked up, a little bit of sun come out. Yeah, a little bit of sun here and there. Ah, uh, too sure what tomorrow tonight's supper would be. There's a chicken stuff, there's the ham stuff, there's some soups. Um, I'm on the third bag of trail mix. I mean, just started it like a little bit last night. Like four bags of chill mixes, and I like them, they're delicious. <sighs> Trying to keep up with just mostly water, but you know, there's some ginger ale, and root beer, and orange, and um, there's four kinds there ginger ale, orange, root beer. Oh, and a grapefruit one, okay, yeah, that's four. There's still like a half bottle left of the fourth one, and it's not just me it's drinking too, it's just also very little my dad, mostly my sister and I, and then on the second bottle of water, uh, Brita water, that's not really that bad, you know.
so uh, not too sure. Stretchy, stretchy here. Stretchy, stretchy. Um. sure not too sure at all not really much really to talk about here you know um taking some of my cousin said he's coming down to do a little more grass today I don't know could have been drunk talk too who knows what's that I'll just lint picking on my sock because I'm you know I'm always checking to see if there's ticks and you know, just walking from the truck and into the house, I'm getting like five ticks on me. Um, and the second day of being here, I uh, woke up with one tick at the back of my neck, latched on. I mean, he's already trying to suck up my blood. And this morning I had one on the side of the neck here. Yeah, it's like... Side of the neck over here someplace. I don't know. These little skin tags and moles are bugging me sometimes, so I'm gonna take a little quick picture of it. I know it's weird. So I don't know how I'm gonna do this. Did it take it? No, I guess it did. That's nothing. A little bit of blur. Let's try this again. Let's go up there. Sit there. That was from a couple of days ago. There's like some here and there. It's bugging me. Okay, let's try this again. No, it didn't take anything. That was weird, eh? Take anything? No, it didn't take anything. Oh my gosh. Okay, probably took something now. I'll take three of them. So that'd be nuts of skin tag right there. I just seen that one there. Yeah. I don't know, there's not really anything to worry about. I'm gonna try one more time here. There's something else weird there. No, it didn't take anything. Holy crap. No, still didn't take any. Holy cow. Okay. Pretty sure it took something now. Yeah, I see that bite to the head of my neck. It's like right in the, by the chain there. Yeah. Alright, I see it. So there's going to be another, another mark there. It's me to always check myself for ticks here. Can you get rid of that crap?
There you go. Sorry about that, guys. I mean, I want to see that little bite and this this mole kind of feels like you know it being a tick, but it's a like a skin tag. I think when I get back home, I'm gonna try to remedy to get rid of it, and it's a just a long process. It's not painful. You no, know, I wouldn't really care. I probably you know go someplace and get them snipped off. I don't care. Snipping off, they're all bandaid on. Big deal. But they say that the skin tags and moles are kind of hooked up to blood vessels, and you know maybe a bad idea. But then, I mean, that's the skin tag's been bugging me for a while, and chain kind of rubs on it, and just feels weird. Um, there's even this underarm uh, skin tag too. Now I remember when this started, I think I was about 10 years old, and it was just a small bump, like there was going to be more, but it was kind of like a burning mole, and it bugged me. So as I got older, you know, I'll say late 20s, no, sorry, early 20s, that this just started getting bigger and bigger and bigger, and then this started getting bigger and bigger too. Yeah. Yeah. I had to cut my nails and clean them too. I'm getting dirt in my nails. It's <clears throat> yeah, I get dirt in my nails and stuff. I gotta clean them. So I don't know. This is summertime, guys. If you're in a hot summer in some place, and you know that's all it's tick season, try to watch out for the ticks. Ticks coming now in different size, size, sizes compared to what it was then. They're huge ticks sometimes. And now there's even gotten smaller to call them seed ticks. They're like as small as strawberry seeds. They get in under your skin. So I had note, I am at the end of this video now. So if you guys you like this video, please do hit the like button. Please subscribe to me. Make sure this video on the channel might benefit you, might benefit me. Please do tell your friend film on me. Thank you for the finished video time you guys watch it. Hope you all have a nice day, more night. And remember to be Aboriginal, then Aboriginal.